We are currently walking to the 10th city here in Toronto. This is the Toronto that they don't show you guys. Yeah, there's a lot of nice buildings and there's a lot of good life and then there's like a rough hard life. I think a lot of people, are, you know, the economic times is making a lot of things not too good for a lot of people in the city. Yeah, and this is what it's like for some people. A lot of homeless um, people in the city currently. Yeah, life is not the best here. Yeah. How are you doing, my friend? Hello, hello, hello. hello. What's hello, your name? Kevin. Kevin? Okay, okay. You stay over here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. I'm just doing a vlog showing uh, what life is like in the city. Do you mind? No okay, this is... um. This is the ten city, the famous ten city in Toronto. I hear a lot about, you know, One of what is like, what is, what is life like over here? Well, it's like the normal thing, the same thing every day. Life's still the same, but it's hard off inside. What are like some of the struggles of like living outside? Well, taking a bath, using the bathroom, simple as the rain, snow, heat, electricity. Electricity. This is my friend, so she lives right there. So imagine, if one of my guys the most, he's like a motorbike mechanic, he's an electrician. My other guy, he's an old motorbike, but he ain't working no more. <laughs> Everybody around here is like one family, different community, Chinese, Somalian, um, Nigerian, Scotian, and Canadian born. Most of them who doesn't have no work, no job, they come right here, sit down, and still find something to do. This is my guy court. He wants to court on the lake. And you would like to see the lifestyle he looks like a king in here. Yeah. place, big bed, you have a mini TV, the vibe I just get some gas to put in the generator to get electricity. You have a generator? Yeah man, a generator right there. We have two generators, like half of the generator go on this side, another half on the next side. And some people can't afford it because you have to pay for gas. Five dollars. $35, $30 to pull this up and we run for four hours. So if you can make five bucks, you get current. Notice the cards with running around. So and too many people could pay that five bucks and we still just give them current. Like every day I spend like almost almost three hundred dollars on gas. Three hundred dollars on gas every day. And I don't work. 30, 30, 30. Just by hustling, surviving. Maintaining myself and I know plenty of people, on come on go. You know, some people need help, some people need that. Or as simple as I fix a bike. What's the most money you ever make in a day? In a day? You'd like to know? I make three thousand dollars one day. Yeah? One day. Oh. Dibbling and dabbling and surviving and hustling. Three thousand dollars I come on. Like how do you get food day to day one? Okay. Well you have the normal people would come around like the community. Some of these people who are living in the condos and penthouses, they come and bring food. This is one of the bags right now. Bananas, tell the trees, oh, I'm just kind of garbage. This is what they bring mostly every two days. Tell the trees, soaps. And listen, they put money in. Money doesn't move everybody, but they survive with a little coffee, something to eat. This is what they give us every day, every two days. Underwear, supply kits, ladies, every day, every two days. Or uh, mostly every once, twice a week, they bring food. We have a table over there where they put food on, like the people from the bakery, the pharmacy, sometimes the gas station, big local businesses come and cook food. Yeah, people look at me and say, man, you live in a tent. I live just like how you live. Only one thing I outside, I know how to survive. My clean, I have my, my deodorant, my dish, everything, everything is there aware, just like a poison inside. But only one thing, we are outside. It's been, fuck, it's been very tough outside now. Don't think it is easy. Some people scared of people moving around or shadows, or there's people who just observing the park or moving through. You get, people are scared, but it's our lifestyle, it's the way we live. But, I would like to give you a hug. <laughs> respect, yeah, but respect. My, my ladies, them, they live intimidated like that, you know? Oh, they're intimidated. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. See, I didn't show them again. If I talk to somebody or I'm yeah. using with somebody, they yeah. disagree. But, but besides that, some of the ladies have been 
some guys would lend them and take a bunch of them. And so when they see people with camera and point, yeah. especially us black guys, yeah. they think the worst thing. Oh, okay. So, so I told them, hey, the guy who you thinking is the worst guy is the nice guy. Yeah. The man walking with the nice Rolex and the nice clean shoes yeah. is the predator. I, I know those ones. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate yes, that. We just I'm just here to spread awareness yeah, for you know people to understand. And, and some people don't on. understand. They look at things the hard way. There's two things to like left, right, or center. Yeah. Two right, no wrong. I know. You feel yes? No wrong. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate your yeah. respect, eh? Yeah, All right. Let me come back, man. I'm gonna come back for sure. I'm coming back. Yeah. 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 What I could say, like homelessness i think can happen to anybody in toronto like i've heard so much stories some people have like expensive condos great jobs and just one little error or one little you know one thing can happen it can happen to anybody here like literally i know a gentleman right now personally right now he's living in one of my tents i live in he came from a condo three thousand two thousand a month now he's sleeping on the floor I have to give him sheet, blanket, quilt. Only behalf because I know him and he's a good guy. He don't discriminate nobody, he live life as normal. But he used to live on top, now he's to the bottom. And only way he survived here, because he lived with us before. He moved around, eat our food every day. But the gentleman used to spend $3,000 every month for a condo. Way up in the sky. Now look at him, he's on the ground, like me. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, so much people are homeless um, nowadays. So, yeah, it's a sad situation still. But what I noticed even by interviewing a lot of people on the road or on the street, the people that are homeless are even more positive, are even more positive and hopeful on life. And I'm like, man, these people like are going through so much tough times and they, they have the time to like be positive and giving God thanks and being thankful for the small things. And that, that just, you know, changed my mind. Like, it motivates me. I'm getting motivation from people that are homeless. Like, you know? So, it's pretty cool to see, like, the different, different stuff of the city. So, in the middle of the beautiful city, there's people literally living in tents, suffering. All around these nice condos, there's, like, people, like, literally suffering, like, right over there. Yeah. There's two sides of this, this um, city. There's the good and then there's the bath. So this is like the beautiful part of the city, but it, beyond the beauty, there's like a lot of struggles. It's a nice weather today. The weather is beautiful. Yeah, when the, when the weather is nice in Toronto, you see everybody smiling, but when it's cold and bleaky, you gotta, you gotta be prepared for that intense, you know, serious interactions, you know? But when the weather is nice, everybody's always usually walking and smiling and going about their business but it's different when it's in the winter yeah such a beautiful city busy 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 people walking fast go 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 yeah but yeah there's two sides of this city the rough and then there's the good yeah it's not an easy place to survive still you gotta you gotta make wise decisions and you know be smart one tip I have for people, if you ever come to this city, make sure when you're crossing the road, look what you're doing. Look before you step out because I notice people here, when they get the light, they just step out. They don't care, even the bikers. So you got to be careful because I see people get hit all the time and nothing happens. Nothing comes out of it. So you got to be careful and be safe out here in this street, in these streets. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more cool adventures.